Today, Jagex just revealed three new skills, but only one of them will be the first new skill added to Old School RuneScape since the game came out in 2013. In this video, I'll show you the details the Old School team has written about these skills so far. For each pitched skill, I'll tell you the summary, the core gameplay loop, the reward space, and ideas slash future concept building that would occur in the refinement stage. Let's get into it. Back in December, the RuneScape community gave Jagex the green light to round up your ideas to start making the concepts for new skills. That's already two stages completed, and now the third is underway. We are in the skill pitches stage, which means Jagex is pitching us a few skills that aren't all fully fleshed out. So if after you watch this video, you are shaking with excitement and just need more details about each skill, we're all in the same ship here. We just have to be patient and use our imagination of the possibilities with the information Jagex gives us. Because afterwards, Jagex will take your ideas and further refine the most popular skill to give us those details. So let's sail off into our imagination with the details Jagex has given us so far. We begin with shamanism. The shamanism skill will enable you to study the magical power of nature and unlock the ability to perform rituals. The core gameplay loop consists of foraging for natural components, such as from mushroom, roots, barks, and even from monsters. Gather spiritual components from disturbed sites, locations around Gilinor with a special connection to the spirit realm. Then draw a ritual circle anywhere in the world, just like a fire. They can be drawn in most outdoor areas at any time. Now, these circles don't seem to consume any components to draw. You'll use those components in a moment. Then, while at your ritual circle, combine your natural and spiritual components to perform a ritual to produce shamanic items such as tikis, poultices, oils, and totems. And then, also, you can augment existing gear with powerful bonuses. These shamanic items could have tons of special abilities. I'm just speaking off the cuff here. Perhaps they could allow you to drink prayer potions up to 150 prayer points, or they could allow you to heal NPCs and increase your healing to other players. But on that other note about the augmentation, shamanism will provide new and exciting ways to improve your gear, whether to be a stat increase on your armor, a new damage type for your weapon, or more efficient skilling tools. Maybe you could enhance the accuracy of your dragon dagger by 10% fire an arrow that does magic damage instead of ranged, or enhance a bone dagger so that the spec requires half the special attack energy. Maybe your axe can have a small chance of yielding the log one tick faster than normal. For your ideas regarding all three skills going forward, make sure to use hashtag suggestion so the jmods might have a better time finding yours. So we already just talked about the rewards from shamanism, but what about the spirit realm? Jagex says that at disturbed sites, you'll be able to enter and exit the spirit realm. This is an alternate reality populated by spirits. Spirits. Shamanism will let you navigate the spirit realm by unlocking new paths and revealing hidden secrets. It is uncertain what the spirit realm could offer, but I think there's a ton of incredible stuff Jagex could do with this. They could have the spirit realm be populated with spirits from the Third Age, who discuss the God Wars and introduce the player to the histories of Zamorak, Saradaman, and Guthix. There could be a new combat minigame where a high-level monster is sending men and women to their untimely deaths and into the spirit world. Players must go into the spirit world, get information from the spirits about where the massacre is taking place, go back into the main world, kill the predator, heal the wounded men, women, and children through shamanism, receive their thanks in the form of a loot chest, and additionally get shamanism XP when the encounter is over. Allow players to steal items from the spirit world such as armor and weapons which can be used for a short time in the main game until they vanish. But that's enough shamanism theory crafting for now, I'm sure you guys have way better ideas in the comments below. Now on to taming. Taming would allow you to discover new and existing creatures around the world and tame them into friendly companions. Earn their trust and take care of them, and in return, they'll aid you on your adventures. They'll have unique abilities and you can train them up to make those abilities stronger. Now, this is not going to be like summoning because training summoning back in the day was really just like training runecraft, where you'd go to this obelisk thing to craft pouches or whatever. Also, these would be permanent creatures that you'd have forever, so it's different in that way as well. The core content loop would be domesticating the new animal, caring for it, and then training. Unique abilities of animals include unlocking new areas, helping with existing skills, and also aiding in combat. 
A creature could find hidden treasures in high places or dig up buried artifacts. The reward space consists of those unique interactions, which could obviously yield more experience in skilling and combat, and also monetary rewards such as treasures. Plus the companionship of embarking on the adventure of RuneScape together with your creature. Maybe it'd be cool to ride some creatures, maybe go on a unicorn and be able to run three tiles every game tick instead of two. And with a dragon, you get the same speed and hover off the ground so you can go over water features. I don't know. Once again, you guys will have better suggestions. Now on to sailing. This one has been talked about in the community a lot. It was originally a meme and Jagex added it to the skills tab as a joke on April 1st of 2014. Nearly a year and a half later in August 2015, they actually pulled the skill legitimately, but the pull failed maybe because people viewed it as a meme, or maybe because people didn't like the training method. Jagex have assured us the majority of XP would come from enjoyable seafaring activities, not building boats. So let's get into the overview. With sailing, you'll be able to discover the mysteries of the sea, fish for massive catches, pillage and plunder other sailboats, or quarry goods from different locations like a merchant. The core gameplay loop is to navigate to a port, which there are a lot of those already, obtain a ship, which you can hire, purchase, steal, or build from scratch, and then engage in fun activities at sea mentioned previously. A core mechanic of sailing would be navigation. Jagex have been toying with a unique pathfinding algorithm, keyboard entry control, and a special navigating interface. The HUD and player experience would be further fleshed out during the refinement stage, and the old school team commits to fully updating Gillinor's oceans with deep waters, coral reefs, sea currents, storms, and loads of other new content to discover should this be the skill that you vote for. As for the rewards, you'll be able to reap the benefits of your catches and pirating, which I assume means you'll make some money. You'll be able to customize your boats and use different boats at different times. And you'll be able to access parts of the game that have been blocked. Maybe a new island is made in the very north area of the map that takes a long time to navigate to. But once you're there, nearby are all the dangerous sea beasts and most lucrative fishing spots. Players can sail a short distance to engage in these encounters, come back to port, and sell their loot barrels to merchants. Merchants can't simply teleport from the island while they have full loot barrels in their inventory. These loot barrels must be boarded onto their ships. Then these merchants must take the long and dangerous journey down south to the mainland, where they can then pay a service to an NPC for the loot barrels to be converted to banknotes, and they can sell the banknoted loot to the Grand Exchange for a profit. I suggest piracy be fleshed out a lot because of the things needed for it are already such a big part of the skill, even if you can only do piracy north of the Wilderness Ditch. Customize your ship by building up the defenses of the hull or upgrading cannons. When you find and want to attack another ship, try to penetrate the hull and raid it for all the player's loot inside, or simply board the ship and kill the player in there. Once again, leave your comments below. And that's it for the three skills. We went over shamanism, taming, and sailing. Feel free to rewatch any of the sections before you make up your mind. Then review ideas in the comment section below because something might really grab your attention. And when you're ready, fill out the JGX survey in the description below about what you thought about the skills. We just sold out of our custom desk mats, Mistalin and the Wilderness. JGX fan content policy says we can only sell 100 of each item. Sorry if you didn't get one of these, but the Tutorial Island desk mat is still available and we are already planning another merch drop for next month that will be just as awesome. The RuneScape Chronicles team will keep reporting on the amazing world that is RuneScape for years to come. And you can support us for the next year while becoming a Runite or Grandmaster member for the cheapest price that will ever be offered. Runite and Grandmaster members get 10% off all merchandise and only for the month of March, these membership packages are on sale for 25% off. So five more days to cash in on huge savings for the year if you want to support us this year. And thanks for watching. I cannot wait until one of these skills makes it through and we can get into the refinement stage where some of your ideas in the comment section below will certainly be brought to life in old school runescape's first new skill.